do begin with the breaking news involving the U.S. border with Mexico. President Biden sending 1,500 active duty U.S. troops to the southern border as Border Patrol agents brace for the end of Title 42. That's the pandemic era rule that allowed the U.S. to turn migrants away because of concerns over COVID. Title 42 set to expire next week. They're expecting an even larger surge after that. The Pentagon tonight saying those U.S. troops could arrive as soon as next week. They will be deployed for a 90-day period. The White House tonight saying the troops will not have a law enforcement role, nor will they interact with migrants. So tonight here, what will their role be? And this evening, our team with Border Patrol officials on the border there, they are expecting this rush of migrants, and they say they welcome any help. Border towns are already stretched. El Paso declaring a state of emergency, saying 1,350 migrants arrive there every day already. And tonight, the presidents who have deployed troops to the southern border before. The White House insisting this time it is temporary again. ABC's Maria Villarreal leading us off with what she witnessed. She's in Texas tonight. Tonight, with President Biden set to send active troops to the border, this is the scene we witnessed there. Waves of migrants surging across the Rio Grande River into the U.S. We are there with Border Patrol before dawn. There's five here with two children. All of them are from Mexico. There's a, there's a good chance that this group right here will quickly get processed and will be back in Mexico by the end of the day. Border Patrol agents are now bracing for the number to soar as more migrants try to cross into the U.S. when Trump-era COVID restrictions, known as Title 42, end next week. Those restrictions allow the U.S. to send migrants back because of COVID concerns. Chief Raul Ortiz telling us with Title 42 expiring, he needs more help on the front lines. I don't have enough agents. I don't have enough infrastructure. I don't have enough technology. I have other areas where I think our agents have really locked down the border security situation. Tonight, President Biden announcing he will send 1,500 active duty troops to the border for the next 90 days. But the White House making it clear they will not have a law enforcement role. These personnel will be performing administrative tasks like data entry and warehouse support. They will not be performing law enforcement functions or interacting with immigrants or migrants. In a recent U.S. deal with Mexico, the country agreed to annually accept up to 360,000 Cuban, Haitian, Nicaraguan and Venezuelan migrants who cross into the U.S. without a valid passport. But Mexico will not take them all, and the Biden administration is allowing some migrants from south of the border to apply while in their home countries for temporary legal status before getting here. And tonight, as our team has witnessed, border towns are already strained. El Paso declaring a state of emergency. 1,350 migrants are arriving every day, and that's before Title 42 expires. The U.S. will no longer turn back migrants, citing COVID concerns. Sí, gente. This young woman who came to the U.S. saying there are many more coming, trying to escape violence and economic collapse back home. David, the chief tells me he needs the most help with processing. Just this afternoon, I spoke with a number of agents. They say they welcome the help from these troops. They will be in support roles like watching cameras or helping with transportation, allowing agents to be agents right now in a critical moment. David.